Okay, guys, so let's talk about what art is at its very core. Okay, and art is actually a just a, a visual form of communication, right? Even without words, you, under, you, you can understand that this person is trying to say, is trying to tell you this story or is trying to give you this message, right? Um, so art is another way of um, kind of representing your voice, right? So throughout all of um, throughout all of history, right, um, most protests, if not all protests, have had some form some form of art integrated into it, um, in like every single culture, right? Um, whether it's through signs, through like flyers, newspapers, things like that, right? All of that is some form of art used to communicate an, uh, a larger message, right? Um, one of the reasons that we want, uh, uh, I want to like teach you guys how to use art as your mode of voice um, is because it gives you a different way of communicating outside of just like an essay or a letter that's, you know, when you look at, or like even through a speech, right? When you look at that kind of stuff, you just see a page with words, right? Really boring um, for the most part at like first glance. Um, and with a speech, right, when, when it comes down to it, uh, there are certain problems with the speech. Uh, and it's also not as interesting to look at one person just standing there talking, right? Some people have charisma and that's a different thing. Um, but visual interest is less boring, right? And it gets people's attention just by looking at it, right? You don't need to even really understand what's on there, what's on, um, that sign or, um, whatever that piece of artwork is, as long as it looks good, you're going to get people's attention. And that's usually the hardest part when it comes to speaking right? It's hard to keep people's attention, but art gets you there a lot more quickly. Okay. Um, so if you're like, this is especially good for, um, for people who aren't really good at using other means of communication, right? Like if you're not the best writer, if you're not, uh, like a very outspoken person, um, if you, uh, if yeah, anything, anything like that, um, then art is a much better, um, form of communication for you. Okay. So, uh, it also helps with not having to repeat yourself, right? If you just have a thing already made, right? You never have to like say that again because you just literally just show them whatever that thing is, right? Um, it's also capable of reaching more people at times, uh, than your real voice, right? If you're speak, if you're standing in the middle of the street and you're just yelling, right? Um, it's hard for people outside of that small little area to hear you. And even within that, if there's a bunch of noise, it's hard to hear you, right? Um, you can only actually be so loud, uh, especially if like a bunch of other people are yelling alongside you. Sure, you might be communicating the same thing, but it all gets kind of muddled up. It could all potentially end up getting muddled up in the end, okay? Um, so those are ways that art has the advantage um, and I'm going to be teaching you guys like one, uh, way to create, um, your message or communicate your message through, uh, art. 